It's a bittersweet moment for all concerned on the Vulcan Centaur astrobotic launch that took place today. Although the launch went perfectly, every component of the rocket having performed admirably on the maiden launch of this rocket, after the separation of the payload and after the Peregrine lander took over, problems began to arise. Here are the updates that we have received from Astrobotic thus far. Quote, after successfully separating from United Launch Alliance's Vulcan rocket, Astrobotic's Peregrine Lunar Lander began receiving telemetry via the NASA Deep Space Network. Astrobotic built avionic systems, including the primary command and data handling unit, as well as the thermal, propulsion, and power controllers, all powered on and performed as expected. After successful propulsion systems activation, Peregrine entered a safe operational state. Unfortunately, an anomaly then occurred, which prevented Astrobotic from achieving a stable sun-pointing orientation. The team is responding in real time as the situation unfolds and will be providing updates as more data is obtained and analyzed. And things did not get much better after that. Approximately one hour ago, I received a second update from Astrobotic. Quote, we continue to gather data and report our best assessment of what we see. The team believes that the likely cause of the unstable sun pointing is a propulsion anomaly that, if proven true, threatens the ability of the spacecraft to soft land on the moon. As the team fights to troubleshoot the issue, the spacecraft battery is reaching operationally low levels. Just before entering a known period of communications outage, the team developed and executed an improvised maneuver to reorient the solar panels toward the sun. Shortly after this maneuver, the spacecraft entered an expected period of communication loss. We will provide more updates as Peregrine comes in view of the ground station again. If Peregrine was not properly oriented towards the sun, it's very possible that we will not be able to re-establish communication with this spacecraft. Without power, Peregrine will be simply unable to operate, and even if they can restore power and capabilities to the lander, it's very possible that whatever this propulsion anomaly is, it's going to make it impossible or very, very difficult for Astrobotic to safely set down on the moon. The odds are very much against Astrobotic right now, but they have some incredibly talented people that I've had the pleasure to come to know over the last couple of years, and if anybody can solve the problem, it's them. Now to be 100% clear, Vulcan Centaur carried out its mission. This was a successful maiden launch for Vulcan Centaur, regardless of what happens to the astrobotic lander. Nevertheless, kind of difficult to celebrate when your partners are going through this kind of trouble. Please stay tuned for further updates, and in the meantime, stay angry about space. <laughs>